Hey guys, it's time for a stupendous compilation. Today we're counting down the best of Ray Blank. Here we go. Hey there kids, it's time for our brand spanking new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pet ultimate. In today's episode, Drew saves Cool School from himself. Wait, that can't be right. It was a totally normal day at Cool School. Nikki was just about to give her report on Valentine's Day, but... Hey, someone erased my wiki. I saw Drew do it. <gasps> Say what? Kids, Drew would never do anything like that. I didn't do it. Yeah, huh? I saw you. Except you were wearing a funny looking costume. This sounds fishy, kids. Time for recess! This would give Drew a chance to find the imposter who erased Nikki's wiki. But when he got to the playground, Drew found the swing sets, the slides, and the jungle gym were all gone! It's like they had been erased! Drew went back inside. There was Crafty Carol, and she did not look happy. Oh, there you are! Who, me? Drew, did you erase all of my crafting supplies? No way, I promise. Oh, thank goodness. I didn't think so, but someone said they saw you do it. <laughs> hey, stop it right there, you faker. All of a sudden, kids came pouring out of the cafeteria. Yuck. Ew. Gross. The mysterious villain had erased the lunch menu and all the labels on the food. The lunch lady accidentally served up sloppy joes with grape jelly, onion slices, and cauliflower tacos with liver. Gross! But it's supposed to be pizza day. There he is. That's who done it. No way. I would never mess with pizza day. Then it dawned on Drew. Someone who looked like him was running around erasing everything. The opposite of drawing. It was like he had... An evil twin. My name is Ray, as an eraser. <laughs> You're the one who's been erasing stuff. Yeah, and now I'm gonna erase you. I don't think so, pal. <laughs> hey! What about this? Let's get ready to run. Give it up, Drew. There's nothing you can draw that I can't erase. Oh no, kids. Has Drew Pendus met his match? A bad guy he can't beat. No way. He can't beat me if he can't catch me. Drew used his super speed shoes to run down the hall and into the library. Miss Booksy, help. I need a book on how to send my evil twin back to his evil planet. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here's one. <laughs> how to send your evil twin back to his evil planet. Perfect. Boogers. He erased all the pages. Aha! Enjoying your book! Oh, what do you want from me? I want chaos, craziness, destruction! <laughs> well, that's a silly answer. Yeah, what do you really want? I... I just want to be a student in cool school. Well, that makes sense. It is the best school in the universe. That's true. Where I came from, we only had cruel school. And it's not cool at all. Ray told them about cruel school, where everything was the opposite. Instead of good teachers, they had bad ones, like Krabby Carol. Stay away from my glitter. And Captain Hooksy, the cruel school librarian. She used to be a pirate, and now all the books are up to shreds. Arg! <laughs> all I want is to stay here with you guys. I'll be good, I promise. They actually considered it. After all, cruel school did sound terrible. But Drew saw that Ray had his fingers crossed behind his back. That's the universal sign that someone is fibbing. Don't worry, I saw that and I have a plan. Drew made a door to cruel school. Oh no, I dropped my penultimate and I rolled out the door. It's my pen now! <laughs> Kids, Ray has the mighty penultimate! Now I can draw whatever I want and take over the world! Hey, wait a second, this pen doesn't work. What's the matter, Ray? I'm drawing a blank. Have a nice day at cruel school, Ray. Yay! Whoa, how'd you do it? Simple. I could tell he really wanted my pen ultimate, so I drew a fake one that didn't have any ink. Ray won't be coming back to cool school anytime soon. Well, we sure hope not. Anyway, the moral of the story, kids, don't go around erasing people's homework and never mess with Drew's pen ultimate. 
Hey, boys and girls, it's time for a brand new adventure of Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew must save. Well, just wait and see. It's a surprise. It all began as a normal day. Drew got up for school, brushed his teeth, ate his breakfast, and fed the dog. Like I said, totally normal, except... April Fools! It was April Fool's Day, and Drew was dressed as his evil twin, Ray Blank. Kids, you remember Ray? He's Drew's opposite. Ray goes around erasing everything and causing total mayhem. I'll make everyone think I'm the mean and rotten Ray Blank. Best April Fool's ever! When Drew got to school, he ran straight to the library and said, It's me, Drew Pendus' evil twin, and I'm here to erase all your books. <laughs> oh no, you won't. Go back to your evil universe where you belong. Oh no! That's the magic door that opens to cruel school. That's the opposite of cool school, where all the teachers are really mean. That door is how Drew got rid of Ray Blank last time. Drew doesn't want to go there. Wait, stop! <sighs> that was close. Miss Booksy, no! It's really me, Drew! But it was no use, kids. Sound just doesn't travel through magic doors between opposite worlds. That's just basic science. Now, Drew was trapped at Cruel School. It's just like Cool School, except it's all opposite, and terrible, and awful, and yucky, and no good. Get ready for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew must escape Cruel School. Actually, it's simple. I'll just draw a door going back to Cool School. No, you won't. You're stuck at cruel school, like the rest of us. <laughs> My mighty penultimate, give it back. Make me. Boys, get to class now. I don't even go to the school. Quit your yapping. It's time for arts and crafts with me, Krabby Carol. Your assignment, make glitter. Lots of glitter. <laughs> Krabby Carol already had a stash of glitter so big that she could never use all of it. Finally, the bell rang. It was lunchtime. Today's lunch, toasted marshmallows. Awesome. Very toasted, like burnt and wrapped in beef liver. Ew, grody. And everybody's favorite, ice cold cheese punch. Make sure you drink every drop. This place is the worst. Oh yeah, to go with the beef liver and marshmallows, we also have bratwurst. Thanks for reminding me. Ugh. Well, the good news was after lunch comes recess. What could they possibly do at Cruel School to ruin recess? Oh no, they even ruined recess? Okay, Cruel School, you already ruined lunch, but you do not mess with recess. That's sacred. Drew couldn't take it anymore. He ran into the library and oh no, Captain Hooksy was there shredding books. Yarg, get yourself some scissors and let's cut up these books. No way! Drew couldn't do it. He knew how disappointed Miss Booksy would be if he ever damaged a library book. Then he saw Nikki. Awesome! Nikki! Boy, I'm glad to see you. What? My name is Tricky. I tell kids facts that aren't true and trick them. Oh no! I have to get out of here! Hey, you look like my friend Ray. Drew ran out into the hallway right smack into a big metal wall. Wait, that's not a wall. Looking for this? Well, it's mine now. So get lost! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wish Nikki really was here so she could help me come up with a smart plan. Wait, I know! I'll ask Tricky and then do the opposite, whatever she says. Oh, hey Tricky, I want to ask you something. If you had to defeat an evil giant robot, what would you do? Obviously, I would invite him to a tea party and then we'd play dress up and have a karaoke party. What? That's a crazy answer! But it does give me an idea. Huh? <laughs> Dear Ray, you are invited to a really awesome party. Now, at the library, bring your new cool pen, your friend Tricky. Awesome! I love parties! Drew hid out near the library, waiting for his evil twin. I thought I told you to get lost! Thanks for the marbles, Ray. Wanna play? Whoa! whoa, whoa. And thank you for my penultimate. Ooh, and this handy eraser. Drew made a door back to Cool School and jumped through. Hmm. Happy April Fool's Day, Cool School. See ya, hopefully never. This time, Drew erased the door just to be safe. Drew, where have you been? 
April Fools? Well, kids, it was a happy ending after all. Drew made it back to cool school just in time for lunch. And it was pizza day with tater tots and a brownie for dessert and a fruit punch. And now Drew had Ray Blake's evil eraser. So that should be the end of Ray. Or is it? Moral of the story, boys and girls, watch out when you're playing a prank. You just might end up at cruel school. And whenever you're in a jam, always use your marbles to figure a way out. Hey! It's time for a brand new adventure with the stupendous Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew must save Color War at camp. It was the last day of camp, and Drew was all ready for... Color War! Camp Cool School's team was decked out in all blue. This year, they were battling the kids from the rival camp across the lake. Okay, we've never met these campers, so we don't know how big they are. Or how crafty. Or how smart. But I know we can win. Team Red's got nothing on us. Wait, where is Team Red? Here we are. Ready to play? Oh no, it's Ray Blank. Kids, you remember Ray Blank? He's Drew's evil twin. The camp across the lake must be Camp Cruel School. It was time for the games to begin. The first event was simple. Tug of War! Come on! Pull harder! Point one for Team Blue! Whoa! Mmm, victory is delicious. Next up, arm wrestling. Nope, you win. Nope, I give up. Hey, Nikki, what's the history of arm wrestling? Interesting question. Arm wrestling dates back to the... Hey, you tricked me! You ready? Sure am. You? <gasps> Your magic eraser! How'd you get that back? While you were playing Capture the Flag, I was playing Capture the Eraser. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Four points for the red team. Well, you're going down in dodgeball. Finally, it was time for dodgeball, the final game. Captain Hooksy popped the ball with her hook. Miss Booksy dodged the ball by disappearing into a story. Eventually, it was down to just Drew and Ray. Say hello to Cannon Arms. No match for my eraser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're out. Team Blue rules, Team Red drools. Maybe I'll just erase you, Pooh Pendus. Hey, take that back. Guys, stop fighting. I know you're arch enemies and everything, but this is just a game. My thoughts exactly. Oh no, it was Grace Kale and her color sucking vacuum. Grace Kale, she's back. Now you're all totally team gray, so I win color war. Give us back our color, we need it. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck on the same team as him. Yuck. The color is mine. I win, you lose. <laughs> Ray, I know we're enemies, but we both want the color back, right? Yeah, so what? We can work together to defeat Grace. Work together? Like, as a team? Yeah! The kids hatched a plan. Drew made a huge pile of colorful balloons. Yoo-hoo, Grace, check it out. So much color. OMG, give me that. But those weren't just balloons, they were water balloons. Cool School and Cruel School joined forces. No, you like totally ruin my hair, stop. No, I'll totally ruin your color sucker. Ray used his magic eraser to erase Grace's <laughs> vacuum. Hey, no fair. Watch out, here comes the mother loop. Mike, no! Grace's vacuum blasted color all over and it rained Ooh, down no, from no, the sky. No, 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 no. Whatever, I'll be back. And that's how Ray Blank and this stupendous stupendous worked together to save the camp color war. It's like they forgot they were total enemies or something. What now? Water balloon fight! Well, at least they forgot for a little while. And the moral of the story, kids, play fair, work together, and watch out for color-sucking villains when you're in the middle of color war. Hey, at least Rain of Gloom didn't show up. Uh-oh. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today, Drew has to save a unicorn. Whoa, cool. It was School Pride Week at Cool School, and this year the most exciting thing ever was happening. Cool School's getting a unicorn. Cool School's getting a unicorn? 
That's right, she's our new mascot. Awesome, is she here now? Yeah, I can't wait. I love unicorns. This is so cool. What are we waiting for? Let's go see our new pet unicorn. <laughs> oh no, she's gone. <laughs> Ray Blink! Not that baddie. He's nothing but trouble. Thanks, Crafty Carol. I try. <laughs> Shouldn't know. Time to go to Cruel School and get our unicorn back. So Drew made a portal to Cruel School. <coughs> you remember Cruel School, right, kids? That's where everything's the opposite of Cool School. The teachers are mean and the kids are nasty and no one has any fun. Ugh, Cruel School's the worst. Hey, if they want a mascot, why not get them something better for Cruel School, like a Hydra? Hydra? What the heck is that? The Hydra is a multi-headed snake with breath so stinky, it can knock you down with one sigh. Ew, gross. Hmm. Aw, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Your breath just kinda caught me by surprise. Here. That should help. Thank you. If you wanna find a unicorn, you gotta think like a unicorn. Technically, the wings make you an alicorn. Yeah, okay, whatever. Just saying. Anyway, we'll go make sure everyone's still having fun at the Cool School Pep Rally. Good luck! Now if I were a unicorn, where would I be? Looking for something? Ooh, appendix. Hey, that's not my name, Ray. Do you see our new school mascot? No, that's not your mascot. That's Cool School's unicorn. Unicorn? What? This is just a, a totally uh, regular horse. You erased your horn. What horn? You don't really believe in unicorns, do you? Anyway, I locked her up and then erased the key. Silly me. Well, good thing that my unicorn horn shoots lasers. <laughs> huh? It's a special metal from outer space. Unbreakable. By the way, I think your wings technically make you a pegacorn. Really? I thought it was alicorn. Here, I'll help. <laughs> Thinking, hot dog. One, two, three. Hey. Whoa! <laughs> Rainbow Blaster to the rescue! How did you do that? Uniform magic, obviously, but you gotta believe. Do it again! Sorry, but we have a cool school pep rally to get to. Smell you later. I regret to inform you children that our cool school unicorn is gone. You saved her! Great job, Drew! Awesome! Drew Pendus totally saved the day, and more importantly, he saved the unicorn. Moral of the story, kids, never steal unicorns, and be very careful with unicorn rainbow magic. It's pretty strong stuff. You just gotta believe. It's time for a totally new adventure, Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. Today, Drew turns invisible. Speaking of invisible, we've got an invisible guest joining us today, Raina Gloom. Well, she's not really invisible, but she is hiding. See if you can find her in today's episode and let us know in the comments below if you did. Things have been kind of quiet around Cool School, almost too quiet. So Drew began to work on a special new project. Invisible ink? Cool. With this, I can draw invisible superhero gadgets. Watch. What do you draw? A giant hammer! Uh, guess I have to work out some of the kinks. Draw something else! Hey, where's my penultimate? Looking for this? Ray Blank! Uh-oh, kids! You know who that is! Drew's evil twin from Cruel School! Ray Blank! Invisible net? This thing is pretty cool. Thanks, Drew. You're not welcome. Drew untangled himself from the invisible net, but it was too late. Ray Blank had already escaped with Drew's mighty pet ultimate and his new invisible ink. Good thing I also made this. What's that do? Whoa, cool. Invisibility, the ultimate superpower for the ultimate sneak attack. Yeah, let's go find Ray. You can't go. Why not? Because you're not invisible. If he sees you, he'll blow my cover. Right, good luck. I don't want to go anyway. I'm still here. Oh, hey, leaving now. Bye. Time for a game of invisible marbles. <laughs> Classic. This is gonna be good. 
invisible glue. Whoa, this is heavy. Are we having fun yet? Not really. Huh, Shrew? Over here. Here I am. I can't see you. No fair. I'm right here. Hey! Two can play this game. Ow! Say hello to my invisible nunchucks. They're called nunchucks and cut it out. You started it. Nuh-uh, you stole my pen. Now give it back. Never! Give me that pen. This pen? How'd you get that? You didn't even notice it fell on the ground. Hmm, should I find your keepers this? Nikki, you rescued my penultimate. Toss it here. Um, you're still invisible. Oh, yeah. Now, say you're sorry you wouldn't let me call on your mission. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Here. Uh-oh, I better get out of here. <laughs> See ya, Ray. Cool. What did he draw? An invisible ejector spring. If you step on it, you'll go flying into the air. Um, kind of wish we could see it, you know, so we don't step on it. Oops. Well, they'll figure it out. The good news is, Drew totally saved the day. Uh, oh, with Nikki's help, of course. Moral of the story, kids, invisibility is a very tricky superpower. You gotta be careful. Oh, and try not to leave your invisible ejector springs laying around. That could be a problem. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. In today's episode, Drew time travels to ancient Egypt. Now kids, be sure to keep a lookout for these shiny gold coins hidden in today's episode. Tell us in the comments below how many you found. It was field trip day at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies visited the museum so they could learn all about Egypt. Drew, who is your mummy? Ah, the mummy! It's alive! <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face. Ah, uh, it's alive! <laughs> you wouldn't have survived a day in real Egypt. Not funny, Ella. You know you're not supposed to mess with mummies, or they come to haunt you. Some even steal your favorite sneakers. I'll share my sneakers with a mummy any day. They don't scare me. Hey guys, look! The famous Egyptian Sphinx! It's true, the nose is missing. Legend has it, it's still hidden somewhere in Egypt, and whoever finds it will be granted any wish they want. No way, like a trip to the Bahamas, or world peace, or an Xbox? Yep, anything you like. That's the rumor anyway. All right kids, come on, time for the next exhibit. Ooh, I wonder who crafted that lovely headpiece. Hmm, the legend sure does sound cool. I've always wanted to go to Egypt. Maybe if I just... Then Drew sketched the awesomest time machine ever. Drew, we're all waiting for... Hey, what's going on here? Oh, uh, I was just uh, hanging out in this time machine. Whoa, you're going back in time to ancient Egypt to track down the missing nose and get granted any wish you want and go down in history forever, aren't you? Uh, maybe. Well, not without me, you aren't. So off they went, way, way, way back in time until BAM! They finally arrived in ancient Egypt, just as the Great Sphinx was being built. Hey look, up there! Someone was standing on top of the Sphinx. Drew pulled out his penultimate and sketched a giant bucket of dried leaves. What? Camels like this stuff. Uh, you don't fly, do you? They flew way, way up to the tippity top of the Sphinx. Wait a minute, I thought the Sphinx didn't have a nose. Uh-oh, something didn't smell right, kids. The evil Ray Blank should have known he was behind this. <laughs> Stop right there, evil Ray. You can't just erase noses off of Sphinxes. That's super not cool. Oh yeah? Who's gonna stop me? Ray jumped down into a tunnel. Drew and Ella were hot on his heels. Boo! Ah! Huh. Give up yet? Quick, we can't let him get away. First darkness, now frogs. What's next? Of course, locust. This Egypt place is crazy. Come on, this way. They finally reached the end of the long, dark tunnel when Drew spotted a giant mummy case. Um, I think it's alive. And I think I have an idea. Uh... 
One. Um, where are my sneakers? Uh, I told you not to mess with mummies. Uh, Drew? Run! We better get out of here! Drew sketched a giant elevator that he used to lift them way up to the top of the tunnel and back onto the top of the Sphinx. Nice work, Drew. Where have you two been? You missed all the cool stuff we learned about Egypt. You know, I never noticed that the Sphinx had such a pronounced nose. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Ray Blank was captured in a mummy case, and the Sphinx finally got a nose. Kinda. We may have to fix that. Moral of the story, boys and girls, try time traveling the next time you're looking for a missing nose. And be sure not to mess with mummies. They're notorious sneaker takers. And hope you didn't forget to count those gold coins. Let's see how many you can find. Found number one. And there's two. Ooh, found a third. There's another one. That makes four. And hope you didn't miss number five hidden just over there. If you found all five, let us know below. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today's episode is going to be a ball because it's time for a basketball battle. It's Cool School against Cruel School in the final game of the championships. History will be made, folks. Let's shoot some hoops. Go, Cruel School. Cruel School dominates. Yeah! Cool School rules. Cruel School rules. Go, Cool School, go! Cruel School rules. Cruel School rules. That's Dean Mean, the meanest, evil, scariest person ever. He's the principal of Cruel School, and he's also their coach. Cause rumor has it, he ate the last one. Okay guys, remember, teamwork. We work together, we beat Team Evil, let's play some ball. Now get out there and clobber them. I don't care what you do, just win this thing. You guys got it. Can we cheat? Is that some kind of joke? We're the bad guys, of course we cheat. Now scram. And we are ready to go. It's Ray Blank versus Drew Pendis in the opening tip-off. Hope we can draw enough tissue for the whole team. Drew Fist, boo hoo hoo. Only to wipe up tears of joy for beating the bad guys. The ball is in the air and Cool School takes control. He shoots, he scores! Cool School's on the board. Come on, I don't trade losers. Let's go! And the streak is alive. Cool School is on fire. Come on, guys, get it together. Pass to me, pass to me. I got a clear shot. Ray, over here. I'm open. <laughs> what was that? I said I was open. Don't tell me what to do. You kids better start scoring. Win! By when do you mean cheat? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Of course I mean cheat. All right, bring on the evil. This is going to be, like, super fun. And we're back on the clock. Robbie's moving down the sidelines. Looks like Cool School's got another clear shot. He shoots. He Whoa. gets pelted by rain. Thanks. You shouldn't have. <laughs> and Cruel School's on the board. Oh, no, no. Not on our turf. That's OK. We still got this. Cool School's number one. Uh-uh. I see what's going on here. You're not getting away with this, Rain of Gloom. <laughs> Better luck next time. Hey, Drew, heads up! And Nikki makes a long pass to Drew. The ball is in the air, and it <laughs> freezes. <laughs> oh no! Guys, look up there! <laughs> Stop that evil ray, or I'm coming up there to catch you. Not if you can't find him. Where'd you go? You know, you guys, you can't just use your villain powers to beat us. It's against the rules. Uh, what rules? You won't get away with this. Bad guys, you're going down. OK, it's all the bad guys against all the good guys. No big deal. We got this. 
Uh, okay, all the bad guys against one good guy? Bigger deal. <laughs> hey, Drew, over here. Now, now, why does she get all the attention? Don't be so cold-hearted, Drew. Nothing a giant flame cannon can't handle. Well, now you asked for it. Oh, that's it, I'm out villain. There's no way I can fight off all these guys by myself, unless. Oh boy, Drew is onto something, kids. With no time to spare, he whipped out his penultimate and sketched a super duper awesome clone machine. Time to call in the dream team. Uh, I mean the Drew team. Hey, I look pretty good. Okay guys, you know the drill. Yep, you got it. ready to roll. Good guys versus bad guys. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. Okay, that's getting annoying. Sorry, Drew. Didn't, Didn't mean it. it. My, My bad. bad. Okay, guys, let's get a move on. The championship game is on the line. Drew was off, and so was Drew, and Drew, and Drew. Hey, Rena, over here. Stop that, you. Jimmy Freeze. Check out my awesome new igloo. It's got an ice cream machine. I do love igloos. And ice cream. Maybe just one peek. Hey, let me out of here. Not funny. Let me out. Villains aren't that bright. Hey, Grace. Bet you can't suction this up. Oh, colors and cake? I'll take that. Grace used her color vacuum to suction up Drew's rainbow colored cake. But that wasn't your average cake. You totally exploded my color vacuum. So, not cool. Nothing like exploding firecracker candles to bring down a bad guy. Hey! Hey, Ray, you game for some basketball practice? Hey, stop! That, ouch! That, that hurts! Stop right now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And the victory goes to Cool School! Woohoo! Go Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Bye, guys. Man, I have good hair. All right. I hope you kids had your fun. Cause Cruel School's about to get real cruel. Back on the bus. I knew this was a bad idea. Last time I listened to you, Ray. Ugh, like, I do not look good in detention. Moral of the story, kids. Don't play basketball against bad guys. They're bad. But if you do find yourself in the villain NBA, be sure to bring along your own clone army. It always comes in handy. Guys, I can hardly see anything. Ow! Nikki, that's my foot. Watch out! There's a hill! Ah! Huh? Look out! Settle down, villains. You all performed quite well on your how to scare somebody and get them to give you their lunch test. Please collect your squishy, hairy spider toys after class. However, I'm sure I need not remind you of our recent basketball failure. Do we need a refresher on what we do in class? Easy schmeasy. We learn how to be the best evil villains ever. Yeah, bad guys, that's us. And we learn how to take down Cool School with their super evil badness. Exactly. And we can never let those goody good kids at Cool School win ever. No, no sir. sir. So listen here. We may have lost last time, but we're gonna come back stronger and meaner than ever. Now, who can tell me how to pull off the ultimate payback on Cool School? Ooh, ooh, we can fill all their ice cream machines with strawberry instead of chocolate. Oh man, that'll be so mean. Maybe then I can shower them with rainbow sprinkles. Ooh, yeah, that sounds pretty yummy. It's not supposed to be yummy. Oh, right. You're the worst bad guy ever. OMG, I have an idea. We could like zap all of the color out of the sky. Then those cool schoolers will think it's still nighttime and like totally miss the famous cool school spring picnic. Whoa, I could erase all the stars so it's extra, extra dark out. Those kids will sleep through the entire week. <laughs> 
Now we're starting to think like real bad guys. Drew Pendus lives over here. That means we must start our operation way over here to give us time to spread our evilness in case he tries to strike back. We'll have to be up early to get there before sunrise. Ray, that means there'll be a lot of stars in the sky. You'll have to work fast to erase them all. I'm on it. You can ask Professor Witchman if you can borrow her broomstick. <laughs> and take Timmy along. He can use some training. Timmy? Double ugh. Fun. Let's go. Well, kids, the bad guys are ready for Operation Ultimate Payback. Will they finally show everyone at Cool School who's boss? Oh, hello. Welcome back to Cruel School Bad Guy Class, where we learn how to be real baddies. We were just about to see our villains perform the most evil payback prank ever. So how are we going to, like, get into Cool School? Maybe we can knock on the front door. I bet they'll let us in if we ask nicely. Ugh, lame. I'm one step ahead of you, Professor Witchman. Can I borrow your broom? Well, all right, but I'll be expecting you to walk fluffy every day for a week. I love that little guy. Deal. I'm warning you, kid. It ain't as easy as it looks. Please, I got this. Oh, oh, this is not that easy! Oh, got it. What now, guys? What now? Now we, like, get to work. <laughs> this is, like, totally working. Only a matter of time before we pull off the evilest payback operation ever. We... Uh, I'm here for moral support. Morning time! I think. Hmm, still looks like nighttime out there. Hey, Drew! It's not morning time yet, but I'm up and I'm super bored. What's up? That's weird. I'm up too! And I never wake up before morning time. Hola, amigos! Glad you guys are up too! Something smells fishy, guys. We better check this out. Meet me at my place. And be careful, it's dark out there. Cool. Never been on a glow-in-the-dark skateboard before. I'll be right there. We should totally skateboard carpool every day. Keep a lookout for anything that looks suspicious. It's so dark. Guys, I can hardly see anything. Ow! Nikki, that's my foot. Watch out! There's a hill! Ah! Huh? Look out! Uh, Drew. Grace? Ella. Sorry, I thought everyone was just saying their names. What are you guys doing here? We're like not done with our payback operation yet. We? Quit now, Drewfest. No chance you're like totally stopping all three of us. Hmm, how do you guys like skateboarding? Uh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Phew, that was close. Uh, whoa! Don't look so confident now, do ya? Uh-huh. Hey, that's mine. Give it here. Who are you anyway? I'm Timid Timmy, and I'm an extra evil villain. You don't sound very evil. Shh, don't tell them that. Anyway, I've got your pen, and I'm not afraid to use it. Come on, guys, hop in. In that? Are you, like, serious right now? You got any better ideas? Uh. Totally crimping my style. Oh no, I dropped the pen. We'll be back and more evil than ever. So we, we totally did it. Just in time for the cool school spring picnic. Those villains never learn. Let me get this straight. They knock you down with a skateboard. You get defeated by rainbow colors and you choose to run away in a clown car and give Drew Pendus his pen back? Doesn't sound so good when you say it out loud, huh? Detention, all of you. Those villains better start doing their homework. And you better be sure to come back and check out more episodes of Bad Guy Class. Oh, mama. If only you knew that your little boy became the dean of cruel school. Maybe then you would be proud of me. Mama, mama, look at this evil.
evil picture I drew. Not now. I must figure out a way to ruin this playground. Aww. And that, kids, is why I will ruin Mother's Day, if it's the last thing I do. Hello, villains. Welcome back to Bad Guys class, where we learn to be the baddest bad guys ever. Today, we're learning how to ruin Mother's Day. Ooh, ooh, we could bake Mother's Day cakes and add extra sprinkles. And when they bite it, the cake will be really crunchy. That's a great idea, Timmy. If we wanted to make Mother's Day even better. Hmm, well, there's nothing more evil than no Mother's Day. What if we erased Mother's Day right off the calendar? No balloons, no flowers, no cakes, no breakfast in bed. No Mother's Day. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Mother's Day. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> so long, Mother's Day. <laughs> Morning time. Can't believe today is. Hmm. I could have sworn I was supposed to do something today. True. Bus is almost here. On my way, Mom. I wonder what's for breakfast today. Moms across the nation are in protest. They're quitting being moms. Yeah, my kids haven't thanked me all year for the work I do. You think they even notice? It's about time they figure out how to do some stuff on their own. It's a mom revolution. What does this mean for kids and families everywhere? Crazy stuff, huh, Mom? So, uh, what for breakfast? Whatever you can find in the cupboards, Drewy. Bon appetit. No waffles or chocolate chip pancakes? Didn't you hear the news? I'm off duty. Now hurry along. Uh, bye, Mom. Bye, son. I'll be home late from work, so make your own dinner. Hey, guys. Why so down, Drew? It's my mom. She's acting different. I think she may be mad at me. Yours too? I just thought it was because I didn't clean my room. I thought it was because I've been doing homework at the dinner table. You get in trouble for that? Something doesn't feel right, guys. Oh, I know. What if we throw our moms a party? Those always make me happy. You mean like a birthday, but like a day for moms. I'm pretty sure that's what Mother's Day is for. That's it, Mother's Day. That should be right around now. But it's gone. It's as though Mother's Day was just erased. There can only be one villain behind erasing Mother's Day, Ray Blank. Attention moms and dads and kids. Mother's Day is back on. Surprise! Aw, you don't know how much this means to us, kids. We thought you didn't appreciate us. Of course we do, Mom. You taught me how to be a homework superstar and a whole bunch of other stuff. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Not so fast. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Mother's Day. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> hey, wait! Ah, put me down! Only if you promise to stop ruining Mother's Day. What do you like about Mother's Day anyway? It's the one day a year we get to celebrate moms, and only moms, for all the awesome stuff they do. Maybe your mom. My mom never had time for me. I'm sure she was just busy. Here, let's ask her. Mom? Hey, kiddo. What are you doing hanging upside down? I was trying to ruin Mother's Day for everyone because I was angry at you for never making time for me. Never making time? I tried, kiddo. I wish I could have spent all day with my little bad guy, but I was so busy being a supervillain. Really? Sure, I was trying to be the best role model I could. What do you say we bond over some chicken liver? Your favorite. Deal. I like you a lot, son. Now get down from there. Don't want that evilness to go to your head. You heard my mom. Let me go so I can get to my chicken liver date. <laughs> uh, slowly. Promise you'll leave Mother's Day alone now? Yeah, yeah. But we'll be back with other villain stuff. Woohoo! Mother's Day is back on. Happy Mother's Day! It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. Today's episode is going to be spectacular, or shall we say, craftacular. 
Twas the night before Crafty Carol's annual Craftacular, when she showed off her greatest crafts of the year, and everyone did their best to add holiday cheer. Good work, gentlemen. So light on your feet. Yeah, I've been practicing my plays. Da 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 da. da. Yeah. Just keep practicing. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Uh, oops. Hey, wait, put me down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm okay, I'm okay. Didn't I tell ya? The biggest event of the year! And that's why it's gonna be so much fun to ruin it! <laughs> but why do we want to ruin such a nice party? Uh, Timmy, because we're villains! We ruin stuff! So get to work on stealing those Christmas carols like Dean Mean told you! Get me the Christmas carols! There will be no fa la 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 in cool school this year! <laughs> That's weird. It's like they keep burning. All right, so we've got to finish the ornaments on the top half. Uh, guys? I say we use the red for the top. Guys? And the green for the bottom. And then... Guys, we're going to need a new tree for all these ornaments. It's gone. Shh, come in. Double evil T-Ray mission accomplished. All clear for Operation Carol. Okay, all clear on my end. Shh, quiet! Oh, hello there. You don't look familiar, young man. Can I help you? Uh, I'm looking for carols. Well, what a coinkydink. I'm Carol. You're a Christmas carol? Mm, I guess you could say that. Well, in that case, sorry, I'm gonna have to take you. Take me? Take me where? Let me out! I need the craft! Let me out! I got a Christmas carol, just like I was supposed to. The carols are in there? Yeah, I got a big one. Now let's get out of here before we get caught. And off they went, through the portal back to Cruel School, with Crafty Carol in their bag. Uh-oh, kids. In the last episode, Evil Ray Blank and Tim and Timmy stole Crafty Cow right before the Craftacular. What will happen next? Dean Mean, I present to you a Cool School Christmas Carol. What is going on here? It's against the rules to steal teachers. That's not the great big book of Cool School Christmas Carols. A book? Well, of course, the book with every happy, jolly, merry carol from the beginning of time. I want that book, and I want it now. Okay, okay. Well, I know this isn't the carol we wanted, but... We've never had a good crafter at Cruel School. Maybe this isn't all bad after all. Hmm, he has a point. Miss Crafty, welcome to Cruel School Faculty. I don't get it. How does a tree just disappear? That's not all. Crafty Carol's gone missing. Uh-oh, this sounds like our friend from Cruel School. Drew got into costume. Then he sketched a tree to replace the missing one. Guys, look! Popsicle sticks on the floor. And those scissors! That looks like... A trail! Good catch, Ella! We gotta follow it, you guys! Crafty Carol, here we come! Drew and the gang followed the trail full of craft tools until they finally reached the Cruel School Portal! We're coming for you, Crafty Carol! With no time to spare, the gang hopped through the portal and emerged in a dark, empty hallway on the other side. Guys, over here! She's gotta be in there. But how do we get inside? They'll see us! What if they don't see us? What's going on? I can't see! I can't see! Shh! Do not panic! Help! I'm panicking! Ah! Oh, brother! Now let's find Crafty Carol and get out of here! Crafty Carol! Boy, are we glad to see you! Not as glad as I am to see you, kids! Oh, these socks smell terrible. Not to worry. We're here to get you back to crafting at cool school, where you belong. Let's get out of here before... Going somewhere? Merry Christmas, Drewfus. Ho, ho, ho. Ah! Drew quickly whipped out his pet ultimate, sketched a super awesome candy cane shooter, and started hurling candy canes at Ray. Stop that! They hurt! That's what you get for trying to ruin Christmas. Uh, uh, I'll be back! Oh, thank you so much for coming to find me, kids. Cool school wouldn't be the same without you. Not to mention the craftacular. Crying craft buckets. The craftacular. Let's go. Everyone, back to the portal. Presenting the cool school craftacular. Yeah! Well, kids, 
Drew saved the day once again. The Cool School Craftacular was a smashing success, and no one was trying to steal Crafty Carol or the carols. Moral of the story, boys and girls, don't mix up crafty carols with Christmas carols. It can get confusing. And be sure to do something special this year to make sure your holidays are the best ever. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty penultimate. Today's episode reaches new heights. Literally, it all started at cruel school. When Ray Blank's mom dropped him off at school. Have a lousy day, Raymond. And don't forget to get all your homework done before we go on vacation so you don't have to do it on the plane. The plane? Yes, silly. We're not gonna get to the lousy lake by walking. We're flying jet black and blue. Airplanes are scary. If they had never invented airplanes, I wouldn't have to fly in one. Hmm. Ray was up to no good when he bumped into his arch enemy, our pal Drew. Hey there, Drew, my best bud. How you doing, brother? Ray? Um, are you okay? What are you doing at cool school? What? Can I come visit a friend? You could if we were friends. Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor because you're kind of super awesome. Um, okay, Ray. What's up? Well, uh, you see, I have this history project about the, um, invention of the airplane. I think it would be so awesome to see the very first plane up close. Yeah, and? So would you pretty please mind drawing a time machine? Hmm, well, I guess I could draw a time machine. It sure would be pretty awesome to see the Ray Brothers in the original airplane. It would be awesome. Okay. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Drew quickly sketched a time machine so that he and Ray could go see the Wright Brothers invent the first airplane. Let's go. It'll be so cool to see the first airplane take off, won't it, Ray? Yeah, sure. Ought to be real cool if you like airplanes. Drew and Ray hopped into the time machine. And they got there just in time to see the Wright brothers trying to fly the very first airplane. Hey, you two kids over there with the weird clothing. Do you know anything about flying? We've been trying to invent a bird-like device that can, uh, drum roll please, fly people from place to place. Check this out. Something just ain't right. Our invention keeps on failing. Hold on a second, bro. Our device needs to be like a bird. And in order to fly, a bird flaps its two wings. Two wings on each side. Genius. Well, I wouldn't get too excited if I were you. <laughs> Ray, why are you racing the original airplane? How could you do this after all of our hard work? Because I hate airplanes. They're icky and they ruin everything. And I'm not going on one. Wait a second. Are you afraid of flying, Ray? I hate flying. It's torture. Airplanes are scary. My parents are forcing me to take an airplane. Maybe I'm a little tiny bit afraid. A tiny bit. And now, I don't have to go in an airplane ever. Best of luck. Wrong, brothers. Ray and Drew traveled back to the present time. But little did Ray know, people would find a way to fly no matter what. Now that the first airplane was never invented, everyone was flying around in blimps. What the? What happened to airplanes? You know, that device that travels and has wings? <laughs> a device that flies with wings? What are we, birds? No, we travel using blimps. You know, like big balloons. Kind of scary, but fine as long as there's air in the balloon and the wind goes the right way. Wind? Yeah, bummer when it blows the wrong way. Huh, fly like a bird, huh? Interesting. Somebody should try that. Just then, Ray Blank's mother pulled up in a car to pick him up from school. Hi there, sweetie pie. Our blimp ride is scheduled to take off in an hour. I hope you packed your bag. We gotta get to the blimp port soon. Blimp port? You gotta be kidding me. Ray, blimps are way scarier than airplanes. The only way to solve this is to go back in time and fix your mistake. This is all your fault. Drew and Ray went back to the time of the original airplane. This time, Drew added some wings to the very first plane. Well, look at that. A device that flies. But what should we name it? Hmm, flying chimpanzee? Because I just love chimpanzees and they fly around. You know, like from vines up in trees. What about Big Bird? What about Birdie House? Hmm, that sounds pretty nice to me. 
How about airplane? Airplane? That's genius. I'm going to erase this thing once and for all. Suddenly, the plane took off with Ray Blank hanging on. Whoa! Don't just hang on. Get up here with us. And that's when Ray realized that flying is actually kind of fun. Woohoo! Yay! This is awesome! I'm a bird! This is amazing! Look at me go! Flying is awesome! Airplanes are awesome! Come on, Ray, we gotta go! Drew and Ray traveled back to the present, and this time Ray was super excited to fly. Mrs. Blank picked him up, and pretty soon Ray was on the airplane. But... Maybe this wasn't going to be so much fun after all. I should have tried that blimp. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Moral of the story, airplanes aren't so scary. They take you to faraway places. Although blimps are pretty cool, too. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. Get ready, because this adventure is heating up. It was the day all the kids are waiting for, the opening of the cool county fair. But there was a big problem. It was also the hottest day of the year. This mud is too hot for me to roll in. I need an iced tea. It was too hot for anyone to go out, except for Robbie. Yum, breakfast al fresco. Ow! Ugh, the art world can be so cruel. But no matter what the weather is, there's always story time. It's so hot, and we're supposed to go to the cool county fair after school. Ugh, what temperature is it anyway? <laughs> Ice cream! Wait for me! Ice cream, you scream. Everyone was literally screaming for ice cream. There's plenty for everybody. Oh no, my truck! Oh no, our ice cream! Finn, what are you doing here? I heard there was ice cream. It got so hot in my bowl that it felt like I was swimming through tea. Melting ice cream trucks, Finn swimming in tea. Drew knew it was time to do something, and fast. This has gone far enough. Time to fix this. We're going to the Cool County Fair. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. This is the coolest way to fly. <gasps> Drew, wait for me. This is so awesome. I'm definitely a fan. Sonny, what's going on with the sun? Why is it so hot? Hey, Drew, good to see you. Wow, is it hot enough for you or what? The sun is really acting up today. I can't get it to lighten up, you know what I mean? Whew, hot. But you're in charge of making the sun come out and go back in. I don't understand. Only if the boss lady lets me do my job. I just work here. I'm kind of like a tugboat, you know what I mean? I get her up for sunrise, back down for sunset, try to keep her on time. Capiche? Also, I gotta be careful with all the sunburn issues going on. You can't be too careful. With Sunny unable to help, Drew and Ella needed another plan. Hey, Drew, before you go, would it be too much trouble to draw me an air conditioner? Sure, Sunny. No problem. Thanks a lot, Drew. Good luck. With their fan cop to keep them cool, Drew and Ella set out to find help from an unlikely source. Gloom? As in Raina Gloom? Are you serious? I know she can be mean sometimes, but we sure could use some rain. I know why you're here. My phone's been ringing off the hook all day. All of a sudden, everyone wants to see old Raina. But I can't help because there are no clouds. And if there's no clouds, there can't be any rain. Wait, Nikki taught me how to make clouds. Drew, can you draw me a jar, a pot of boiling water, a can of hairspray, and some ice? Coming right up. You can't make a cloud. Um, yeah I can, it's super easy. First, you just pour boiling water into the jar, then spray some hairspray inside. Put the lid on, and then put some ice cubes onto the lid. Now watch. Sure enough, a cloud started to form inside the jar. Then Ella released the cloud into the air. Look at that, it's a real cloud. You learn something new every day. All right, let me just zap it so it'll start raining. You'll be able to cool off in a minute. Suddenly, Ray flew in and erased the cloud. Ray, what are you doing? No clouds. I never want to see rain again. Why not? Rain ruined my birthday picnic, my little league game, and my comic book collection. You can thank me later. I'm going for a swim. Then Ray flew back to cruel school. Drew, after him. This is the life. Swimming sure is a great idea. Hey, I'm not sharing my pool with anyone. Well, in that case. Drew knew all his friends were stuck in the heat at cool school. So he drew a giant water slide that reached from one school to the other. Hey, who invited you? Get out! You're ruining everything! 
I bet some rain would get them out. Ray, we need rain. It helps with droughts. And it's good for the plants, trees, grass, and animals. And when it cools off, we can go to the Cool County Fair. Well, if it gets everyone out of my pool, I guess it can't be all bad. Time to make some more clouds. So Drew made all the supplies, and soon enough, there were clouds floating up in the sky. And then Raina made it rain. Ah, uh, that felt good. The temperature dropped like 20 degrees. Yeah, let's go to the fair. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again, and the Cool County Fair was a big hit. More of the story, boys and girls. Into every life, a little rain must fall. And if you got a pool, don't forget to have your friends over for a pool party. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. In today's episode, Drew and his friends find themselves in a sticky situation. It was the day of the annual slime off, when all the schools competed to see who could craft the best slime ever. It was down to Cool School versus Cool School in the final round. The judges were Crafty Carol, Dean Mean, and the famous slime scientist, Professor Jigglybottom, who was a little sleepy. Okay, kids, remember, making slime is about having fun. So why not you- Fun? This has nothing to do with fun. Don't waste my time with bad slime. Okay, guys, with just the right amount of science, that slime trophy will be ours in no time. Drew, I need borax. Robbie, glue, please. Ella, food coloring, water, and two bowls. Let's do this, team. Raina, I said borax, not earwax. Relax, Eraser Boy. I couldn't hear you, all right? Well, it's no wonder with all this earwax stuck in there. Here you go, Ray. I think you just add a little bit. Gotta learn from the pros, Timmy Timmy. Go big or go home. You guys gonna help me with this or what? Oh, this time is like too hard. <laughs> Way too much Borax villains. Someone hasn't been doing their science homework. 10 minutes to finish, boys and girls. We're doomed. We've got this gross rock, and Cool School's got the gooeyest, most perfect slime ever. Not for long. <laughs> Grace, get the lights. Rena, how fast can you brew me a rainstorm? Fast as lightning. Well then, on the count of three. One, two. Huh? Who shut the lights? I can't see my slime. While everyone was totally distracted, Ray Blank was up to no good. Can't win the slime off without any slime. Good luck, Drufus. Oh no! Our slime, it's... Gone! Thanks to that slimy Ray Blank. Why, I oughta... Five minute countdown! Work! Slime! Win! Guys, we cannot let Ray win. Maybe if I draw a new batch. Uh-uh. We'll be disqualified faster than you can say slime time. All right. Nikki, how fast can you whip up a new batch? Guess it'll have to be in five minutes. That's the spirit. You heard Dean mean. Make slime and win! With no time to spare, the gang sprang into action, working against the clock to whip up a new batch of the best slime ever. Meanwhile, Drew sketched a super awesome villain detector. No villains are stealing our slime on my watch. Way to go, Ray. You did it. We're gonna win. Um, like, not so fast, guys. Ah, uh, figured Nikki had a solution. Well, it's about time she learns who's boss. Stop right there, Ray. So Drew quickly made the ultimate slime blaster. But Ray dodged all the slime as it came right at him. Drew, do something. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into... The stupendous, stupendous! Then Drew sketched a huge crane. It grabbed onto the barrel of the slime and lifted it way up into the air. But Ray wasn't going anywhere. Get down from there, Ray! Never! This slime is mine! 60 second countdown, boys and girls! It's almost slime time! Drew and Ray swung the barrel back and forth like a tug of war. They crashed into lights and all the lights went out. Oh no, it's falling! Oh my, Cool School made a sculpture of Professor Jigglybottom. It looks so lifelike. Wow, I have to admit, that is some impressive slime. Uh, for slimy little kids anyway. And the winner is Cool School! Ah! It's our pleasure to award you the first place prize, a superific slime trampoline. Yay! Yay! Do you think Professor Jigglybottom is okay in there? He looks happy. And what do the cruel school kids have to show for yourselves? 
shameful. Detention, all of you. It's like I always say, don't do the slime if you can't do the time. We'll be back, Drufus. We'll be back. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. Slime off victory belonged to Cool School, and they got the coolest slime trampoline ever. More of the story, boys and girls. Keep a lookout for thieves the next time you make an award-winning batch of slime. And I repeat, don't do the slime if you can't do the time. Oh yeah, and that too. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. Watch out, cause today's story is gonna be a little bit spooky. One night, Miss Booksy took a class on an overnight camping trip. Everyone gathered around the campfire to tell spooky stories. And at any time, in the woods of any town, the bush monster could attack. What's that? Hey guys, let's make some s'mores. Robbie, you scared us. That's silly. Why would you be afraid of s'mores? Hey Robbie, what's that on your shoulders? Ah! Mmm, that's a good looking s'more. All right, kids, we have one more story. <laughs> Bats! Oh no! <laughs> now, my story is maybe the scariest story of them all about the ghost who sneaks up on kids! Ah! Once upon a time, there was a ghost, a really, really spooky ghost. And there's nothing he liked more than sneaking up on kids and taking their candy. <laughs> He loved all sorts of treats, but especially s'mores. S'mores? Really? Really. Uh-oh. I'm not doing anything, guys. Don't look at me. Then that means there's a... G -g -g ghost Drew, do something. That's not a ghost. Ghosts float. I found footprints. It must be the Invisible Man. OK, settle down, everyone. There has to be an explanation for this. So Drew and the other kids followed the trail of footprints through the woods. They stopped when they heard voices. It worked, Ray. You erased me, and I was able to steal all the treats from the Cool School gang. Now, how do you make me appear again? I don't know, Timmy. I only know how to erase things, not bring them back. We need our food back. Forget about the food. If Ray can make people invisible, he can cause all sorts of trouble. Oh no! How about an early Halloween? These guys need a taste of their own medicine. Medicine for Halloween? Yuck! That's definitely a trick. Speaking of tricks, we trick them and then we get our treats, Robbie. I'm gonna make us some scary costumes. I wanna be a vampire. Ah! Yikes! Ella, Nikki, can you hold them, please? Cool! It's a Frankenstein monster. Ooh! Just call me Frank. Can I be the mummy? Sure. Um, can you draw the tape a little looser? Sorry, Ella. Perfect, that's a wrap. Awesome! Okay, gang, on the count of three, let's run out and scare those cruel schoolers. One, two, three! I come to suck your blood! Uh, I'm Frankenstein. Boo! Let's get out of here, guys! Yay! We, we did, did it. it! That should help. Oh, thank you. Hey, the invisible man is still eating our stuff. No, it's me, Timmy. I'm sorry for stealing your treats. It was Ray's idea. Now I can't even see myself. It's okay, Timmy. I'll fix you. Well, why don't you help us bring all this food back to our campsite? And then we can all share it. No way! I'm scared of monsters! Ah. So that's how Drew and his friends tricked Cruel School and got their treats back. Moral of the story, boys and girls, don't let someone trick you to get your treats. Oh, and never erase yourself. You're kind of special. Plus, it's really hard to get you back. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. Hope you're ready for a roaring good time, because Drew's about to ride some real-life dinosaurs. It was museum day at Cool School, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait to see the brand new dinosaur exhibit. These boys and girls are the remains of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can tell it's a T-Rex because of its small arms and two clawed fingers, and a 13-foot head. Ooh! 
Uh, I can't tell anything from this pile of bones. Well, let me tell you, this pile of bones is worth a pretty penny. Yeah, collectors will pay anything to get their hands on real dinosaur bones. Personally prefer my bone crafts, but that's just me. Uh-oh, kids. Looks like someone else wanted in on the dino dollars. Ray, blank! Hmm, if I could dig up some dinosaur bones, then I'd be rich! Anywho, let's keep moving, kids. So many dinos, so little time. Hey, True, you thinking what I'm thinking? You mean sketch a time machine to go back to the dino era to see these big boys in person? Uh, I was just thinking of taking a selfie with the T-Rex. But that sounds way better. Way better to take selfies in person. Let's go before anyone notices we're gone. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Drew used his penultimate to sketch the time machine. Drew and Ella time travel adventures. Here we go. One, two, three. And off they went, way, 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 back in time, like 60 million years, until finally they reached the dino era. Um, what just happened? You threw us all the time machine and hit the super speed lever. That's what happened. What are you doing here? You're not the only one who gets to see real dinosaurs in action. Why are you going to be so villainy all the time, huh? How else am I going to get to the dino era? Catch you losers later, or not. <laughs> We should go after him. I thought we came back here to see the dinos, not chase bad guys. He'll still be here when we get back. Yeah, I guess you're right. With Ray on the loose, Drew and Ella took a slight detour to make some new dinosaur friends. How y'all doing? What's your name? Ah, Petoni. Petoni Pterodactyl. Well, Pterodactyl if you're more scientific. But anyway, you guys are a little small to be hanging around these parts, don't you think? One wrong stop and pfft, you're done. Good point. Not too safe for little people around here. Here you go, just hop on. Uh, I don't know. You are a bajillion pound dinosaur after all. Nah, common misconception. Pterodactyls aren't dinosaurs. We're just flying reptiles. So you're safe with me. Okay, giant flying reptile sounds pretty safe. I'm in. Um, all right. I actually give tours part time. Gotta put lots of food on the table to feed mouths this big, you know what I mean? I'll say. Google says one of your teeth is 12 inches long. Huh? What's a Google? Ella, they didn't have cell phones 65 million years ago. You're gonna blow our cover. Wow, no cell phones? That is prehistoric. Right, well, over here to the left, you'll find my friends, the Triceratops. Those are some pointy heads. Yep, Triceratops, three horn face. Don't wanna get those guys angry, trust me. Whoa, girl. Uh-oh, looks like Sarah Ceratops doesn't want visitors today. Okay, we're going, we're going, hold on tight. Petoni was up in the air, flying right over the entire dino village. Woohoo! This is amazing! I can see every kind of dino from up here. Wait till you see him upside down. That's fun. Whoa! They flipped so fast that Drew's pen fell right out of his pocket. Oh no, my pen! He tried to grab it, but it was too late. Meanwhile, Ray Blank was up to his own shenanigans at Dino Diner. Dumb dinos eating the meat and leaving the bones? If only they knew how valuable these would be in 65 million years! <laughs> Ow! Why I oughta... That kinda looks like Drufus's pen! Suddenly, Drew and Ella came flying down Petoni's back! Throw my friend his pen! But Ray had all the plans. Before Drew could reach the ground, Ray snatched up the pen and sketched himself a super awesome ATV! Or should I say, a Ray TV? Always wanted one of these. He's headed in the direction of the time machine. He's gonna go back to the future with your pen. And we'll be stuck here forever. Not if we get there first. Tony, after him. I'm on it. Hold on. Meanwhile, Ray sketched himself an x-ray blaster so he could spot all the buried dino bones along the way. <laughs> I'm gonna be so rich. I'll buy all of cruel school. What's going on? Ray's getting away. Hey, even pterodactyls need a break here and there. I'm getting tired. We are so doomed. Okay, listen, Petoni. We're at the tail end right here. And wait a sec. Tail end. That's it. Petoni, think you have enough strength for one quick tail toss? I guess. That sounds really not safe, but really fun. Count me in. Drew and Ella quickly slid down Petoni's back and onto his tail. They held on tight to the tip. Hope to see you kids again sometime. Us too, Petoni. Thanks for all your help. Drew and Ella went flying and tumbling and tumbling through the air. Meanwhile, Ray had already made it back to the time machine. Go inside! Whoa! Whoa! Huh? No! My bones! 
All the bones went flying, and the bones fell into the shape of an amazing two-headed dinosaur. Nobody ever saw a dinosaur like that before. Drew hit the lever, and bam, they were off once more. Soon they appeared back in the museum. Ah, oh, what'd you do that for? You owe me a bag of dino bones, Drewfus. I'm going back. Looking for this? I want my dino bones! Now, now, young man, no need to cry. I'm gonna keep you by my side all day, and we are gonna see all the dino bones this museum has to offer. I'll get you for this, Drufus! Mark my words! Oh no! I totally forgot about our selfie! We gotta go back in time! I think the dino statue will have to do this time. I have never seen that dinosaur before. I bet that one was worth millions. No! Say cheese. Well, kids, another Drew adventure had come to a close. Drew and Alec got to see all the dinos of their dreams, and they stopped Ray from leaving them in Dinoville forever. Moral of the story, boys and girls, be careful when you time travel, and try not to lose all your stuff while you're flying upside down on a dinosaur. You never know who's gonna grab it. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. It was D-E-A-R. Dear Day at Cool School. That's when you drop everything and read. Isn't this just the best? I love Dear Day. Drop everything and read means a whole day of story time. One of my favorite days. Got my special Dear Day popcorn. Whoa! I can't wait to dive into these books. Uh-oh, kids. Looks like there are some unexpected visitors in class today. It's Ray Blank and Timid Timmy. I bet they're up to no good. I hate Dear Day. Me too. Ugh, you don't even sound evil. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> sorry. All right, we're ready to go. Time to drop everything and look out. We dropped everything all right. Now don't mind if we erase all these books too. <laughs> Ray erased as many books as he could get his hands on. Then he grabbed Timmy and he stuck out of the room before anyone could see them. Guess there were too many books on that shelf. Strange, never was a problem before. Everyone okay? Uh, I am, but these aren't. The books, they're all empty. There must be some kind of mistake. My books are always filled with stories. We can't have reading day without stories. I don't get it. Stories can't just vanish. They can if they've been erased. You're right, it looks like these stories have been erased. But who would erase stories? I can think of one bad guy who likes to erase stuff. Ray Blank, I've got your number and you've got my letters. You're going down. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Just when I thought we were gonna have a relaxing day of reading and popcorn. Now if I were a villain trying to ruin reading day, where would I go? Aha! Follow me, you guys! With no time to spare, Drew and his buddies jetted off to the library, where there are a gazillion books. In the library, they spotted Ray and Timmy trying to erase all the library books. Oh no! They're trying to erase them all! Does that mean no reading ever again? Not if I can help it. Listen up, I've got a plan. Timmy Timmy was walking in the library when a book suddenly appeared in front of him. Ooh, that looks like a good book. Had to be a real villain for dummies. Ooh. But Ella was moving it on a string. Uh-oh. Then Drew caught him in a blanket. Ah. Here, read this, but stay quiet. Okie doke. Thanks, Drew. Timmy, where are my books? Robbie, that's your cue. Coming right up. Robbie quickly grabbed a stack of books and headed straight in Ray's direction. About time, Timmy. Gotta start being reliable if you're gonna be a real villain, okay? Hello? Yeah. You're not Timmy. Uh, nope. Come to help me erase these books too, have you? We began lifting the books off the floor, erasing one page after the next. No, those belong to our library and Miss Booksy. Not anymore. <laughs> Stop right there, Ray. Uh -uh. Not gonna get in my way this time, Drewfus. Drew quickly drew a word blaster to cover Ray in words, but as fast as he could blast them, Ray would erase them. Drew even shot the word Ray at Ray, and he erased it. Ray, you just erased your own name. I did? Yeah, can't you read? Ugh. Wait, you can't read? Yeah, so what? So that's why you hate Dear Day. No wonder you wanted to get rid of all the books. I hate books, all right. How can you hate books? They're the best. Because, well, because I can't read, okay? Now leave me alone. So we'll teach you. It's not hard. Just take some practice. But who cares, okay? Reading's for losers anyway. 
No, it's not. Reading's the best. I bet you would change your mind if you came to story time. Especially Miss Booksy's story time. Yep. She makes reading easy and super fun. I even learned to spell donut. D U G A uh D O G. See, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, reading uh, takes practice. And that's what story time is for. No, uh, I, I couldn't. I mean, well, there's no way anyone's letting a villain into story time. Well, we will, if you promise to stop erasing all of her books. Uh, well, all right, fine, just this time. And if it turns out I hate story time, then- Yeah, yeah, we know. You'll be all villainy again. No, come on, Dear Day's gonna be over soon. Dear Day? You know, drop everything and read. You'll see. Drew and the gang jetted back to Miss Brooks's class, but this time with the villain in tow. Oh, I see you've brought a, a special friend to story time. Yep, we wanted to see what all this reading is about. Well, we better show him then. If I only had some words in my storybooks. Oh, right. Drew quickly pulled out his pen ultimate and sketched all the words right back into Miss Brooks' storybooks. Whew, thanks, Drew. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Once upon a time... Well, in boys and girls, land. Drew had saved the day once again. Dear Day was back in action, and this time, everyone was reading. Uh, hello? Anybody out there? Oh, well. Guess I'll just keep reading my book. Moral of the story, boys and girls, read! It's good for you, and it's super fun. Try it the next Dear Day, or any day. Even Ray likes it. Shh! This is a good story. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. Today's episode is going to make history, literally. It was the day before the big social studies test on American history, and all the kids at cool school and cruel school had to pass the test or else summer school. That's it. I'm not taking this dumb test! Back to the books, kid! Or good luck in summer school! Ugh, who needs history anyway? Wait a sec, that's it! Nobody needs history! I'll just go back in time and erase it! All of history gone! Then no social studies test! <laughs> hey, Drewfus! I mean, Drew, old buddy! Not now, Ray, I'm studying! I was just going to ask if you want to go back in time to meet Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, and all the other cool people back then. Hmm, that does sound pretty cool. Also, would be a great way to study for the test. I could ask him all my questions. Ooh, I've always wanted to ask Thomas Jefferson an important question. Like, was it hard to write the Declaration of Independence? No, how he invented mac and cheese. That was a genius. Totally, I love mac and cheese. Uh, wait a sec. Why are you... You suddenly being all nice and friendly. I just want to meet the guys who started our country. Is that too much to ask? Hmm, I guess not. And I guess I could just draw a quick time machine. Now that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm coming along. Quick, you guys, over here. Drew didn't know Ray was up to no good, so he quickly sketched the time machine, and he hopped inside with Ray and Nikki. Hit it. First stop, 1776, for the signing of the Declaration of Independence. When our country became America, land of the free and the brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And off they went way back in time to the year 1776. They hopped out at Independence Hall in Philadelphia, where it all began. That must be Thomas Jefferson. And that must be the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> so long, American history. So long, social studies test. Ray, wait, what are you doing? But it was too late. Ray had already erased the entire Declaration of Independence. Oh, good heavens. Then he swiped the keys to the time machine. I'll take those. Catch you later, stinkers. Or not. <laughs> Quick, we can't let him get away. With no time to spare, Drew sketched a second time machine and hopped inside. Back to cool school. But when they stepped out, nothing looked like cool school at all. At least not the cool school they remembered. Ella, is that you? Why, of course it's me. Whoever else could it be? Pardon, don't mean to be a bother, but we're running behind the clock, and we are quite late for reading hour. Reading hour? You mean story time with Miss Booksy. Uh, no, sir. I meant reading hour with Lady Library. Well, that's not her real name, but we had a good laugh from it. Didn't we, Robert? Ha ha ha. Indeed, Eleanor. Anyway, we're set to be reading about the origin of the monarchy and all the King Henrys, so we'd best be off. Cheerio! 
Something is definitely not right here. They're all British. Well, of course. Don't you see? No Declaration of Independence. No America. Britain rules. Oh no, you're right. He erased the Declaration of Independence. We have to fix this. Drew knew he had to do something quick. So, Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. Come on, back into the time machine. Drew quickly hopped into the time machine and traveled back to 1776. Uh, Mr. Jefferson? What, what, what's going on? Who are you? Anyone lose a child? An oddly dressed child? Shh, no one can explain. Well, that's actually kind of hard to explain. You see, we heard a rumor that you and your friends were planning on writing a document of sorts. Yes, declaring the independence of America from Britain. Oh, that. Yes, we tried, but sadly someone came around and erased the whole thing. Some things just aren't meant to be. But, but, with all due respect, this is totally meant to be. It took too long to write, so maybe some other time. Anyway, time for tea. Hmm. Something you had an idea. Mr. Jefferson, what if I told you this pen will write everything for you? Really? <gasps> this pen is simply amazing. So much easier to write with than a quill and ink. Gentlemen, this young man in his underwear and cape has a magical pen. And he would like to give the declaration another try. Here, here, here. here. Better not be any disappearing ink this time, Thomas. Relax, Johnny. I feel good about this fellow. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary, and the Declaration of Independence was underway. Wow, we're actually seeing it being written. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Amazing. This is going to be a great addition to our future. Trust me. Not if I can stop it. Suddenly, Ray came flying at the Declaration, but this time Drew was prepared. Stop right there, Ray. Drew quickly used his pen to sketch a giant quill pen ink shooter, and then he squirted all of Thomas Jefferson's ink right at Ray. Call it quits and we'll let you down easy, Ray. Ha! No chance. Ray used his eraser and erased the ink off his face. Then he gave the bookcase a big shake, looking tumbling down on top of Drew. Whoa, whoa! Ooh, sayonara, Drewfus! Hey, the declaration is here to stay this time, you ruffian. Thanks, Nick. I have an idea! I'm on it. With Ray inches away from the declaration, Drew quickly sketched a super awesome mac and cheese tosser. Load her up, Nicky. Uh, what is this stuff? Good old mac and cheese. Although I hate wasting all the cheese like that. Not really why I invented it, but okay. And in came a second, and a third, and a fourth gob of mac and cheese until Ray was totally stuck inside. Let me out of here, Drufus. Oh, we will. Just in time for our American social studies test. Back to the time machine for you, Ray. And this declaration is staying just where it is. A time machine? Oh, uh, long story. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Mr. Jefferson. That's a great piece of writing you got there. Really appreciate all you did to start our country. My pleasure. Good to meet you, Drew. And off they went, back into the time machine, this time with a heaping ball of ooey gooey mac and cheese. Then they all hopped out of cool school on the other side, and everything was back to normal. American flag and all. Better get cleaned up fast, Ray. Don't want to write any cheesy answers on your test. <laughs> Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. There were no more Brits walking around cold school, and the evil Ray Blank was in a sticky situation. Ray, is that you? Maybe. All of this just to get out of your social studies test? You know what this means. Detention! Moral of the story, boys and girls, without the Declaration of Independence, there'd be no America. And if you're around when someone tries to erase it, you just carve them up with macaroni and cheese. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. I hope you're all ready to speed right into things because today's episode is quite a ride. It all started on an annual field trip. This year, all the cool school and cool school kids took a trip to the Botanical Garden. 
Hello, boys and girls. And my lousy, rotten kids. Well, all kids are special. Anywho, welcome to the annual interschool field trip. Today is all about leaving our distractions behind and connecting to the natural world around us. That goes for you too, bad guys. Villains need to know about the world so they can know how to wreck it. Right, well then, oh wow, looky here kids, isn't this little guy a beauty? Gonna turn into quite the butterfly, eh? Ugh, I hardly got any likes on that pic. Maybe if I add an emoji. Because, you see, caterpillars turn into... Crush! Crush you candies! There we go! Oh, I give up. No patience these days. Just then, Ray Blank snuck out of the pack and headed right towards a sign that said... No trespassing. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, look! Over there! The kids quietly snuck away and headed right towards Ray. Hey, that kind of rhymed. Oh no, he's gonna get us all in trouble. Quick, you guys, we gotta get him. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous. With no time to spare, Drew whipped out his penultimate and sketched a super speedy Drew mobile. And off they went, right past the sign and howling night owls and poisonous bushes. Kids, don't try this at home. Until finally. Ray Blink, stop. Wow, that was fast. Boom! Ah. Looking for me? <laughs> okay, either you ate too much candy or you're under some kind of magic spell. Even better, speed soda! I got it from that fountain over there. This awesome soda comes out. Get out of my way! I love that stuff and I'm thirsty. One cup and you'll fly through all the boring stuff in life. Like garden field trips. Yuck! That would be pretty sweet. So much more time for video games. So much more time for cooking tutorials. Gee, I don't know you guys. We don't even know what's in it. You can't be afraid of the future, Drew. Going faster is what new technology is all about. Without thinking twice, Nikki, Robbie, and Ella went straight for the fountain and got some speedy soda. <laughs> Suddenly things started to move a lot faster. I could totally take on Dash. This is incredible. <laughs> Just gotta get better at my footwork. Okay, this is awesome. Um, guys? They all race at lightning speed just in time for the end of the field trip, which they sped right through. And then craft class, which seemed like it was over in a second. Kids, you forgot your slime. And then lunchtime, which seemed like it was over in a minute. And then the annual cool school mountain hike, which they finished before anyone else. Well, I didn't see anything or enjoy it very much, but I was done super fast. Guys, I have a confession to make. I kind of want to slow down. Me too. This is a little too fast. I hear you. I've got lots of time for YouTube videos, but I feel like I'm missing the point of everything. I want to enjoy stuff. Enjoying your new speedy superpowers? As a matter of fact, we're not. How long does this last, Ray? Forever! And as long as you're speeding through everything, you'll never have fun at cool school again! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to discuss a pressing issue among our students. You mean how they're totally distracted? Can't even finish one fairy tale before they're zipping off to the next thing. It's the same over at Cruel School. Can't even get Ray to finish detention, so I gotta give him more detention. It's a mess. Well, I've had enough of it, and our hero Drew here has a plan to make it stop. I'll try to draw a slow down machine, but we have to get everyone to stop drinking the soda. Or it may not work at all. 50-50 shot. So there's a chance they'll be speeding through cool school forever? Yes. And side effects include severe sleepiness, no ability to focus, and endless ice cream cravings. Okay, maybe the last part isn't so bad. Works for me. I'm on it. It was lunchtime again, and all the kids were plowing through another round of PB&Js. There's hardly even time to taste anything. Guys, you have to come here and step inside my slow down machine. Yes, please. Yeah, I'd like to slow down a little. They each ran to the machine so fast they could barely squeeze in. Then it turned on and... Anyone Whoa. else feel slower? Oops, maybe I turned it up too much. 
Looks like the machine did the trick. No more speed soda for these guys. Don't worry, we're never drinking that again. Never ever. No matter how thirsty I get, it's strictly water. Maybe some orange juice. And of course, chocolate milk on weekends. Well, kids, looks like Drew saved the day again. The speed soda was gone, and Ray wasn't going to bother them anytime soon. No more soda for you. From now on, it's just prune juice and cod liver oil. Moral of the story, boys and girls, don't drink soda to speed up life. Enjoy the journey. I wonder if you're thirsty, have some good old-fashioned water. Although, chocolate milk's pretty good, too. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his Mighty Pen Ultimate. Well, kids, it's that time of year again, and Drew and the gang were excited to see Santa and fill him in on their wish list. Hi, Santa. Good to see you again. I think I've had a pretty good year. Did well in school and stopped a lot of bad guys from doing bad guy things. Ho, ho, ho. Yep. Looks like you've been very nice and not real naughty, except that time you scared little Robbie by the campfire. Hey, Robbie, what's that on your shoulders? Ah. Oh, yeah, well, about that. I was just having some fun. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Look, we've got bigger problems. What's wrong, Santa? It's those kids at Cruel School. Yeah, I kind of figured they'd be a little more naughty than nice. Well, that's for sure. That's every year. But this year is worse. They've attacked my shop at the North Pole. I don't think any children are getting gifts this year. Wait a sec. Hold on there, Santa. Did you say no gifts? As in no gifts for good kids? I'm telling you, Drew, it's bad. What happened? Well... Let me make this clear. No one gets anything from Santa. Nada. Zip. Nothing. Was that clear? That stinks. I've had it. If I don't get anything, no one does. I'm with you. Gee, that doesn't seem very fair to all the kids who were nice this year. Timmy, that's the point. It's not fair. And we're not the kids who were nice. Oh, right. Well, maybe if we were nicer. Timmy? Just saying. I got a plan. Markowitz, Dan, nice, check. Tatum, Raquel, nice, check. Sentner, Derek, naughty, send it back. Wow, this is so great. The North Pole, just the way I dreamed it would be. Great, now let's destroy it. What? That doesn't seem right. Exactly, let's go, Reyna. It's time to kick off Operation Naughty and Never Nice. <laughs> Rain in the North Pole will freeze. <laughs> Santa, this is terrible, but I know what to do. You do? Then go and do it, my good boy. Go! Ho, ho, ho! Guys, come with me. We've got work to do. Work? But it's Saturday. And we're next in line. Cruel School is destroying the North Pole. If you want any presents, then follow me. Let's go! Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous! Next stop, the North Pole! Okay, Ella, here, take this blow dryer and start defrosting those elves. Got it! Robbie, take this fur blanket and wrap Rudolph and the other reindeer. I am on it. Joy, we need some color and fast! I'm on it. Wow, this is so wrong, but I'm about to make it right. Let there be color. Hey, what are you doing? More like, why are you trying to ruin Santa's workshop, Ray? Look, if I don't get presents, no one does. Why don't you try being nice? Have we met? Now get out of my way. <laughs> Whoa! Feliz Navidad, Ray! Nice work, Rudolph! Hey, what the heck? I thought I got rid of all of these happy colors. You did, but we prefer to be happy and to be colorful. Yeah, well, like, not for long. It's really kind of black and white, Grace, because we love color! Ah! Uh. Cool! Ciao, Grace! Nice, but you've got nobody to stop me! Here comes the storm! Don't worry, I got this. You do? Yep, just called a friend. Hey, Robbie. Hola, Drew. Allow me. Drew! 
Okay, Sonny, not too much or everything will start to melt. I hear you, Drew. Looks like those dark clouds are gone and good kids everywhere are getting their presents. Maybe this year, but I'll be back. Thanks, Sonny. Happy to help and happy holidays to all. One last thing. The naughty nice list. Ho, ho, ho! Way to go, Drew! Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. The workshop and all the elves are busy at work to make sure that all the nice kids got their presents. And the naughty kids, not so much. Moral of the story, boys and girls, the whole world is a whole lot happier and more colorful when people are nice to each other. So be nice, because it's nice to be nice. And thanks to everybody who suggested that Drew save the holidays. What a great idea, you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.